All right, everybody, it's Walt from Dirtfoot Racing. Look what happened. We got shocks on the back of the 24 hour bike. It's officially a twin shocker now. We just finished uh, tack welding on the mounts. Took a while during the day today to kind of figure out those braces you see right there. It's the first time doing this stuff for us, so it's been a, it's been challenging at times. But um, anyways, starting to come together. I think it looks pretty damn good myself. And it actually kind of works. Um, uh oh, uh oh, forks aren't tight. It's had a fork sliding moment. But um, anyhow, yeah, so that's uh, what we were doing today. Making those mounts. It took a few attempts. And you can see some of the, on the plasma table, the the evolution of the mounts took a few shots luckily I have plenty of metal um, but yeah no it's uh it's coming right along get back up here and get a, get a oh yeah look at that watch out we're gonna hit the track I'm gonna tear it up <laughs> so yeah that's a 24-hour bike two shocks on the back some people asking why aren't you doing mono shock well Personally, myself, this is most people's mono shocks they build are kind of sketchy, so to speak. Uh, I don't want to have a sketchy one, so we uh, decided to go this route, and it's, uh, it's working out pretty well, I think. So stay tuned. Things are progressing. We'll uh, everything is tacked right now, and once once we know for sure that it's it's good to go, then I'll weld the frame all up and. Um, finish things off so next thing on the docket for us is gas yeah. tank for me um the power train some uh yeah. reinforcements up here intake manifold exhaust oh yeah intake manifold exhaust yeah i gotta do all that stuff too but um yeah but that's coming along this was the stuff that was uh i've made lots of intake manifolds and exhaust so that's not a problem but uh twin shocker thing was uh, new for us so that's taking a little bit more time. There's been some trial and error, but um, it's uh, all coming together. Hopefully, uh, it doesn't come apart at some point. But we'll uh, we'll find out how we did once we uh, get it all together. Just sitting a little. Yeah, it's not bad. Not a bad stance. I mean, we're not even talking with the engine in or anything. Once you sit on it, it always you you lose a little bit when you sit on it. So um, we don't have any preload. The yeah, there's no preload on the shocks, on the springs or anything either. So, so and we noticed we left a couple other, we made a couple positions just extra on that, just in, just in case. So, you know, I had already bought. This is the second set of shocks I bought because the first ones I are really too long. So, um, yeah, yeah, it's uh, coming along. See you guys later. If you like this kind of stuff, like, share, subscribe. See ya.